opioid overdose is the leading cause of death in the United States for people under the age of 50. Think about that. That's shocking. And not only that, but it's the leading cause of death, and we have the answer. We have an antidote. We don't have to agree, but try to understand their perspective, because that will be the baseline for communicating when they're in school and their friend has a problem. They'll be free to come to you. They're not going to be judged. They're not going to be punished. Uh, they're not going to be humiliated to tell you about it and seek out your counsel. The goal here is not to get someone to stop drinking. It's about reducing. It's not about stop drug use. It's about reducing to get to that point where abstinence may be possible. What happens? How do we get an overdose? An overdose occurs when too much of an opioid fits into too many of your receptors and slows your breathing and ultimately you stop breathing. You're going to see lips and fingernails, tips of your fingers are gonna turn blue when the person is in there, so that's another thing that's important to look at. Um, and they're gonna be cold and clammy. The skin is gonna to start to feel that way. The majority of overdoses are witnessed by somebody. Actually, in fact, seven of 10 occur in a home. While that's a little bit frightening, it also provides a wonderful opportunity for us to have an intervention and to save lives because they're happening in places where people are potentially there and able to take some action.